Hey everybody, welcome back to Veteran Idiot. It has been one whole year since I started this crazy journey. We are over 7,000 subscribers, over a quarter million views in one year. It's just crazy to me. I want to thank you guys so much for everything that you do, all the subscribers and the sharing, everything else, and even the ones that sent me some donations. You guys are awesome. So what we're going to do with this video is I'm going to throw up all my favorite intros, which is pretty much every single one of them. But we'll start it off with my absolute favorite. And unfortunately, this video didn't get a whole lot of views, but I absolutely love the intro. It really shows the comedic relationship between my wife and I. And uh, I hope you guys like all these intros. It'll buy me some time to work on this guy here. Anyways, enjoy the intros. Again, thanks for everything that you guys do. I love you, and we'll see you next time. Hot. Welcome back to Veteran Idiot. I'm Art. This is Scooter. We're out here on a closed course today for a zero to 60 test. That's part of the camera crew. It's the camera crew. Uh, we're gonna see what this guy can do for zero to 60 before we swap him over to the big block. Without further ado, let's get at it. That's more camera crew. It's just part of the crew. All right, you ready, Scooter? Ah, uh, yeah, go for it. It's gonna be in three, two, one. Do you even leave yet? More. More. I don't want them to see my pores. Yeah. He's a pretty girl. He's a pretty girl. Oh, yeah. 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 What's the matter? Dude, did you finally get that robotic leg? What? No, dude, that's the steering column for the 69. Why does it look like that? Because it's new? Chevys don't need new parts. They last forever. She's not broken down. She just needs a nap. That's what it is, needs a nap. So dang hot. Oh. 
subscribe. Welcome back to Veteran Idiot. I'm Art. This is Scooter. We're going to be working on the uh, Vice Grip 69C10 today. And uh, the last couple episodes, we um, took out the gas tank and the truck. And I wanted to show you some of the gas that we got out of there. It's pretty gnarly. Uh, other than that, the parts for this truck, I got some uh, sill plates. I got a uh, steering wheel, radiator, hoses, fan, uh, fan shroud. All kinds of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm um, really looking forward to it, and I'm glad to have you with me uh, for this entire journey. Du bist ein Idiot. Sie würden dieses Auto nicht reparieren. Was? Don't look at me like that. She's just a friend. Mm-hmm. Can't know I got another one. Perfect. Hey, Scooter, come here. I want to play a game. It's called Heads Up. Come here. Yeah, all right. Hurry up. PBR is going to get warm. I'm going to write a name on the sticky note. I'm going to stick it to your head. You're going to write a name on a sticky note and stick it to my head. And then uh, we're going to try and guess who's who.
Don't look. All right, you got one? Yeah, here you go. All right. All right, you go first. All right. Uh, how's your mother doing? What? Yeah, she's fine. Uh, did you buy her a Mother's Day gift? No, these, these aren't the questions. No. How about your wife? You buy her a wife a Mother's Day gift? These aren't the questions you're supposed to ask when... It, no. Is GM the best manufacturer that ever existed? No. <laughs> Idiot! Ah! <laughs> Hey, Art, I'm back. Chevy's rule. Heartbeat of America. I'm Brooke. This is my dad. Today we're putting on some engine mounts and some little accessories. Three. Two. I guess he's already getting started. So let's get started. Do an LS swap. It'll be fun. Do an LS swap. It's easy. You won't even have to buy that many parts. Do an LS swap. It's cheap. I can't do it. I can't do it. Cut me. Just cut me. Just cut me. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm in there. I'm getting in. Hell yeah, heartbeat of America. What have I done? All right, guys, here we go. Finally, first hundred dollars I ever made on YouTube. Going to tractor supply. Don't answer my emails. Won't sponsor parts. I'll show them. Ah, now it's Einstein's truck company. Chevy's rule. Oh, weird, my water's empty. Hey babe, money's gonna be tight this month, so we don't have anything extra for car parts.
Welcome back to Veteran Idiot. I'm Art. This is Coach Ma'am. And everything's going fine. Everything's good. Just got a lot of stuff to do today. This is going to hinder it a little bit. Help? Can you help? Pull me up. Come back. Come, don't leave me here. On today's episode, Oscar's back and he's better than ever. Hit him with a burnout! On today's episode of Veteran Idiot, Earl gets heavier and trades gas miles for smiles. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, there's smoke coming out from under the hood. There's smoke coming out from underneath the hood. All right, so what I'm hearing from you is that your previous owner abused you heavily and didn't maintain you the way you feel you should be maintained. But the question I have for you is, why would you project that onto your new owner and break down on him relentlessly? I do understand that the comments of fix or repair daily found on road dead, driver returns on foot, over a rebuilt Dodge, found on rubbish dumps, fails on race day, failure of research and development, fast only running downhill, factory ordered road disaster, flip over read directions, four old rusted doors, Ford owner really dumb, Ford owners recommend Datsun, flipped over Russian dune buggy, four off-road death, fat old rusted dog. I understand these hurt your feelings, but these are something you can't project on your new owner. Did you just start an oil leak? morning. It's a new year, new me. I figure I'd start the year off right with going and picking up something that I really need. Something that will lift me up when I'm down and support the things that I love most when I need it the most. So let's get a cold start on Earl. Get on the road. Son of a... Damn it. Why are they always leaving landmines in here? You. The landmine maker. Welcome back. Guess who's back? Back again. This idiot's back and he brought a friend. <laughs>
Welcome back to Veteran Idiot. I'm here in a barn and I've got quite the find for you. This here Troy Bill Tiller's been sitting for decades, heck maybe in weeks. We're gonna get it running today. First thing, let's see uh, if it's got any petrol. Ain't got no gas in it. Let's throw some gas in her. That'll do her. All right. Let's give her a pull, see what she does. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for staying tuned. It's been an amazing adventure. I hope you show up for the next episode where we go up into my mom's attic and check out her sewing machine. What a good little rig. That's neat.